This guy wants to speed up. Ah, you, you suck. You suck. You and the Honda Pilot, my friend, you suck. And you and the Cavalier, or whatever this thing is in front of me. What is this thing? I don't know. Yeah, it's a Cavalier. Is it a Cavalier? Uh, you suck too. You all suck. A bonjour, a bonjour, my friends. Sono quel coglione. Naked Mike Mikey, I'm back with you again. And an extra bonjour to Detroit Dizzle. I love the impression, it's great, I love it. It's so molto bene. It's making me, it's making me laugh. I watch it, it's funny. Somebody impersonating a uh, naked bike mic impersonating uh, uh, an Italian. But I am Italian, so you know. Like, uh, every time I go on this road, there's somebody in front of me that's going, you know, the speed limit. But you know, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, man? Yeah, I watched uh, Detroit Dizzle. His a uh, his a video, his a vlog he did on his uh, with his new bars. I'm getting all worked up here. Yeah. I watched it. He's, he does a naked bike of mic impression. How about a journal? That's great. I love it. It's a happy Easter. Happy Easter to everybody. All of my, my, my YouTube friends. It's Easter Sunday. The sun is coming up. It is a beautiful day. It's a little chill in the air, but it's going to go away quickly. So I'm going to enjoy it. Enjoy it while I can, man, you know? That's what I'm talking about. Look what this way. Oh. oh. Yeah, my last video on the Pentagon, my foot, uh, I had a foot drop issue. After the long ride to Ocala, my left foot. It did not want to go like this. It wanted to stay like that. So every time I would shift, my, my, my foot, my mind was going, okay, we're shifting. And then my foot was going, we're not shifting, we're staying just like this. So I had to like raise my foot, bring it up. Oh, I was scared. I thought I had damaged some nerves or something. I was, I was afraid that my leg was screwed up and the nigga bike mic would not to be able to ride at least not comfortably again so I uh, I took uh, some uh, medication anti-inflammatory I tried to keep my leg pretty straight most of the time and I got a funny story for you at least I thought it was funny it's also embarrassing at the same time <clears throat> that uh, that same weekend when my foot was doing all that garbage acting up like a stupid idiot I, uh, I'm walking into Target and I'm walking in there and since my foot was screwed up it didn't want to it, my, my toes dragged they were dragging on the floor and I felt it catch the floor my left foot, the toes and I could not control my foot to pick it up. So I started to fall and I could not stop falling because my other foot was already in the process of making another step. So I went down, man. I went down hard on in the entrance of Target. I made a grand entrance and fell on my my butt, my ass, my ass. I fell down, man. I went, <laughs> all right. Hope nobody saw it, but I think everybody saw it that was in the front because it was in the main entrance and, and it was stupid. So I got up and I was embarrassed and I walked away. But man, this is scary. I'm getting old. Something's wrong with me. I got foot issues. But anyway, throughout the week, it got better and better. It's still not 100%. 
but it is at least I can shift now I can lift it up I can go up and down and sideways and all that stuff so it's a good I feel much better that it is operational I did not want my foot to deactivate in the words of Tiger Woods my foot deactivated I had to reactivate it I think I'll be okay I found it and I can't get up I'm having chest pains I found it and I can't get up here watch it I'm sure you know if you don't schools <coughs> schools schools go on to uh, the YouTube what you're watching this anyway up in the search bar up there at the top you can put I've fallen and I can't get up or you know life alert or whatever old lady falling down in 1980 something stupid commercials but they were great they were stupid but they're great Reminds me of my childhood. I'm just gonna keep my legs straight. My legs straight. Now bend it. Now straighten it out. I straighten it. I straighten it. I bend it. Listen, some strawberries. You know what I'm talking about, man? So it is. Uh, this is a. I know. It's a boring, probably boring to watch. It goes straight the whole time. The same road. It's all straight. The whole thing is straight. The big straight line. But, you know, what am I going to do? Move to California? Oh, what do I got going on here? Am I going to run out of gas? Oh, what's happening? I didn't realize that I've been driven that far on this tank of gas. I might have to go get some petrol and add it to my tank. Solely for the smell. My friends, solely for the smell, the aroma that comes out of these exhausts when I'm running the racing fuel, the high octane, it's so nice. I can, I have to have it. It's like an addiction. If you watch my first, I think my first video, I talked about it. It's like crack, man. Gotta have it. Gotta, to, gotta to have it. Chill the fog. Oh, wow, what the frick was that? Oh, my goodness. That was a big bump. I didn't think it bike a bike, I did not see it coming. I saw it at the last second, I could not get out of the way. Ooh, that was a big bump. Sheesh. And I'm not a scientist. I'm not a meteorologist. I'm nothing like that. I don't know how that works. I don't know how any of that works. For now, before I stop, I'll say uh, a thanks for watching, a thanks for subscribing. Click all the stuff up there, my face, the next video, whatever you want to do. I appreciate it. There goes my low fuel light. And we're coming to an end. This is Nick Abaka Mike. Arrivederci. A ciao. And a goodbye, my friends. As I come to a stop here in the traffic. I'll see you later. Oh, uh, come on. Let's go before I stop. Ooh, I'm going to start it. Ooh, look at that.